Yeah. I've. <laughs> oh, have you seen these shoes? Mate. They are Embry Motorsport Mate, shoes. Yeah, they only just come out. They're like. They're Look at them. Seventy-five quid as well. <laughs> Look. Get yourself down to uh, Sports Direct, not Sports Direct. <laughs> 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 Look at those! That matches perfectly! I've just noticed yeah, that! Yeah. Got a bar now Look, at, <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> well, at least you won't fall over in the wind. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Do you find anything wrong with this? The thing with Jake is he will feel every little bit yeah. compared to other people. Right. No, it looks fairness. Good to be like that. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it right. There's no massive rush to get out of there now. First half hours we're quite. Yeah. I mean, we've cracked it all up now, so it'll be any any different. Anyway, what's that, sorry? You're going to wait till lunchtime for that gear. Yeah. I've got lots of things I want to test, so no, I'm exactly. happy. You know what he's going to do, so that's it. Yeah, exactly. Let's go quicker. Yeah. So, that gives me a chance to look at the data from that one, because yeah. that's running the next step. Yeah. They're running two steps longer on the Audi, so we can have a look at lunchtime and work out what the best route is.
I'll tell you more what's happening here. So, Jake's gone back out again. He's got a problem that first time we've been at this circuit, so each of the four cars, especially our two, have got different top ratios. Yeah. He's got the shortest and he's hit the rev limit. So there's nothing we can do about that until lunchtime. But the, the moment it's pretty good. B2. Yeah. Nice. And they've just changed uh, settings on bump rubbers and then they're going to try a diff change to get rid of a bit of mid corner understeer. But so far, so good. Sounds good. They look quite cool going down here. So, what you can do if you hit the rev limiter, rather than just sitting on the the, the gear, you know, yeah. on the throttle, just holding it flat out, but it, da, 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 that slows it down. Yeah. If you actually just lift out a little bit, actually, Tom Onslow Cole taught me that at Thruxton when he was in the Golf with us, just pulled out the throttle a little bit, so you just hover just off the speed limit, rev limit, and actually the car goes a bit quicker. Okay. There's a little tip so for you. That's really free. That, that that tip's free. I think we're running on a bit of rubbish rubber, um, so it's a bit oversteer and a bit understeery. Like through the left, we had a few moments where it was 45 degrees or opposite lock. Um, but it comes back. It comes back. Yeah, in MG it had been, it had been a proper drama. It had been, yeah, yeah. A bit of brown pants moment. But getting used to it now. Getting yeah. a feel for it. And then through uh, the last corner, I've had a few opposite moments through there, and it's it's just. A dream to drive, really. Yeah. It comes back and it does what you're asking. It, it don't really argue that much. So, so I'm braking earlier. Oh, you're braking. Uh, sorry, my switch over time is a bit long. A little bit, yeah. Uh, what is that? And it's taking me ages to get back to throttle. Yeah. Scrubbing a little bit too much off. It's about seven, bit, seven meters. Where you're coming off. Yeah, just getting out of the brake earlier and chasing that throttle. Yeah. You see where you've gone on a bit like a switch and stamped on the throttle. Yeah. That's a clear sign that you should have been earlier. A bit earlier. So I'd say keep your braking point the same. Maybe yeah, keep your braking point the same. Come out of it earlier and just chase the throttle. And go back to using sync through there. Yeah. Because our thing is too short. Quick, isn't it? Yeah. You like it? I love turn one and two. Yeah. They're great. That's interesting, that, isn't it? Yeah. It's interesting relying on that bump. Where do you feel like you're struggling? Uh, through the slow stuff. When you, when you, because you latched onto me, didn't you? Yeah. In the first run. Where did you feel like I oh, maybe pulled away a bit? Uh, through turn one and two, I need to get back, back to throttle. Me. Yeah. I'm literally brake fifth in, let it slide a bit, and you're you're oh, committed. Okay. Oh, going into that one onto hanger now. That right, it's because it like dips away, it's like off camber. I'm struggling with the front there now. Um, that feels tire wear more. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's now on turning. So as I'm rolling the car and it's, you know, it just falls away. Same with going into the tight right, turn three, um, after heavy braking. And you just, as soon as you start to load it up, it's starting to go. Um, it's not the scrubbing you have last year. No, it's not a scrub, it is just pure understeer. Okay. Like there's no, the tyre's not scrubbing across the floor, it's literally just, it is just understeer. It's in that front left. So that's a wrap for the British Touring Car Media Day. We've ended up P2 overall, which is fantastic with Jake Hill. And then Sam Osborne is about P14, P15 overall as well. So that's, that's really good. Really pleased with how it's gone. All the hard work over the winter with all our partners, with MBP and all the guys working on the team, it's been fantastic to see. To finally see all the colours in reality, rather than it just being on a computer screen, is, is fantastic and quite exciting. So really looking forward to the season and uh, onwards and upwards. End of media day, it's been a productive day for us. 
Um, it's been nice to benchmark us against all the other cars out there. So it's been it's been uh, a big learning curve for us. So we've managed to do his best ever uh, qualifying result of uh, 18. So um, unfortunately we didn't get a run on the softs. Um, we stayed on the mediums, but it was looking productive for us. So it's, it's nice that we get the car out there and, and get the car back in one piece. Um, so yeah, we've made a lot of progress today. So yeah. Hi guys, so yeah, we've just finished media day here at Silverstone. Um, it was obviously the first time as MB Motorsport accelerated by Blue Square were all together. So it's really nice to have me and Sam obviously in our Hondas behind us with all the team around us that we'll have for the 2020 season. Um, it's been a great day, you know, for myself. I finished uh, first this morning and then second this afternoon. And obviously Sam as well has put it right, you know, in, in the top 15 in the afternoon. So it's been a good day for him. He's had lots of learning and really progressed. And for myself, you know, we've got the car in what will hopefully be a winning position um, for the 2020 season. So I'm chuffed a bit, so the team have done a great job. Um, I couldn't ask for any more.